Not only are real estate agents freaking out over what happened with the National Association of Realtors settlement yesterday, but so is Zillow, or at least they should be, because look at their stock, it has plummeted. And if you want to understand why their stock has plummeted, we have to understand how Zillow makes money. What Zillow basically does is they take listing information and they sell it to real estate agents who want buyer's leads for that listing. Okay, let me explain. Let's say if I listed the house behind me for sale, Fun fact, it is my listing. And now this information is being fed to Zillow. However, it's being fed to Zillow, not promoting me, it's promoting whoever bought the zip code that this listing is in. So when you click the button contact agent, you're not contacting me, the listing agent, you're contacting whoever paid for that space or that zip code for that particular property who knows nothing about the property. I never liked this model. I would never pay Zillow anything. I don't agree with it. I don't think it's a great way to work a business, but a lot of people do pay this money and that's how Zillow makes their money. Basically, you have this buyer's agent who now takes this information from these buyers and then they take these buyers out and if they sell these buyers a house, regardless of what house it is, they have to pay Zillow 40% of their commission. But with this settlement with the National Association of Realtors, sellers no longer have to disclose that they are paying a commission. So you have to imagine if your business model as a real estate agent is to work buyer's leads on Zillow and you're going to go out and show all these properties and maybe you won't get paid at all, maybe you're going to think of reevaluating your business decisions on how to get leads and there'll be less agents interested in that model. That's A. And B, Zillow might be freaking out because they don't even know if those agents are going to get a commission at all. So. What I imagine what's going to happen with Zillow, they might copy what homes.com is doing, which is a much better model for real estate agents and consumers, by the way, where real estate agents are basically paying to be on their website on search as opposed to other people's listings. Maybe they'll copy that. I'm not sure. But right now, Zillow is probably freaking out and not sure what to do.